Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another We Who Are About To Die weapon guide, and the weapon I want to talk about today is Triumph. So this one's probably the most exciting weapon from the update because there's never really been anything like it before and it's damn good, so I want to show you guys a few things you can do to get the most out of it. First things first, let's take a quick look at the stats because they really are something. So 36 damage, just completely insane for a one-handed weapon. 454 durability is tied for the most in the game. 80 speed is really high, and then 42 range isn't great, but we'll talk about that more later. When it comes to comparison, there isn't much point. You take a look here at the reinforced DACA, which I think is the closest comparison, and it's really no contest. Triumph blows it out of the water. They're about the same size too. I threw the Kappa and the Iron Claw up there too, just to see how it looks, but the Kappa still isn't really close. It does have a nicer shape, but that doesn't make up for the damage. The claw is actually right there in damage. If you've used the claw before or been victim to it, you know it can do big damage, but its durability makes it one of those weapons that isn't really fit for general use. So it's pretty plain to see with Triumph that this weapon is just a different breed. There aren't really other one-handed weapons that are all around as good as this, but there are still some things you can do to maximize its potential. So first off, headshots. You want to hit headshots with every weapon, of course, but especially when you have so much damage on a weapon, you want to get the bonus headshot damage too, because that's going to allow you to hit hit up over 40 and even into the 50s. Even if an enemy's got a helmet, don't worry about that. Just knock it off in two or three hits, then you'll have a nice exposed head to hit. Doing this, you should be able to end fights in two or three more hits once the helmet's off. Now what if there's something in the way? If they've got a shield, it can be a little bit tougher to hit their head since Triumph's one weakness is that it's a shorter, straighter weapon that really isn't built for getting around shields. What I've always liked to do with swords to solve this problem is use the shield bash a lot. It's going to let you get their shield out of the way and then you can swing in overhead or better yet from left to right to get more weapon speed and more damage on your swing. Another thing you want to try to do is be patient and efficient with your attacks. Remember you can kill in two or three hits with this sword so don't rush, go for quality hits rather than quantity, try to keep your stamina up to get attack boosts and avoid weak tired swings. And something you might want to actually avoid is stabbing. It's not terrible, if you've got a clear look at a guy's face and you want to give him a quick stab that's fine, it just doesn't get you the same kind of speed or damage as a swing. So if you're able to do all that that, you'll have a really good time with this weapon. I'm not sure I'd go as far as to say it's the best weapon in the game, I've always loved the Bardiche, but Triumph is giving me some second thoughts for sure. Being able to do this much damage while also having a shield is just crazy and might be the new best way to play the game if all you want to do is win. That's that for this one, so let me know what you guys think. Is this the new best weapon in the game? Let me know as well if there's a weapon you want to see me cover in the next one, and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.